Here's a few quarterbacks to drop heading into week 12. The first guy is Drew Brees. This is a simple one. Brees is injured. He fractured 11 ribs. Taysom Hill looked pretty good. And now Brees, there's a possibility he comes back in week 15, but we don't know for sure. Many teams, many leagues, for whatever reason, barely have IR spots. And if you only have one, Drew Brees is a guy I'm probably not going to stash on that IR spot. Even if he comes back in week 15, you're going to have to be in the second round of the playoffs. And I don't know if you're willing to wait. There's a lot of good quarterbacks this season. And Drew Brees, he's been middle of the pack for the most part. But Drew Brees, he's a guy you just drop him and stay away from him. Unless you have a ton of IR spots in your fantasy leagues. Because he's not going to help you until week 15 at minimum. Or not even come back at all. So he's the first quarterback I'm going to drop. The second guy... Is Joe Burrow, this rookie, he was having a great season with a team that wasn't that good. And Burrow, bad news coming in, torn MCL, ACL, and he needs a little of a reconstruction. So he might miss some of the 21 season as well into next year. So Burrow, he was looking good, like I said. He was hitting Higgins and Boyd, and he would have broke a lot of rookie records in completions, passing percentage, touchdowns. And all that. So Joe Burrow, the number one pick, he went down. It was a gruesome injury versus the Washington football team. And if you're in a keeper league or in a dynasty league as well, this is tough now. I don't know if you're going to keep him or what. Joe Burrow, we don't know how he's going to come back. And he's going to miss some of next season as well, it sounds like to me. But in regular season formats, redrafts, obviously you drop Burrow. He's going to never come back this season and then next year, hopefully, he comes back better than ever. The third guy is Matthew Stafford of the Detroit Lions. It's just an up-and-down game with Stafford. It seems like each other week, he has a good or then a bad game. He just can't be consistent. And once again yesterday, versus a Carolina team that's not really lights out on D. He only had 178 passing yards and five rushing yards. So Stafford, we know he's banged up. We know he's hurt playing through injuries each and every season, it seems like. But Stafford, he's still owned in 62% of leagues. He's got the Thanksgiving game coming up here on Thursday versus a weak Houston Texan team. But I just can't, can't trust Stafford. So if you're in a one-quarterback standard 10 to 12-team league, you drop Stafford. If you're in a two-quarterback league, obviously you keep him. But I don't know if you could start him. Stafford is up and down. You see the trend every other week. In week 9, he had 12 fantasy points. Week 10, he had 31. And then this week 9. So I don't know what Stafford's going to show up. The injuries sound pretty bad. And he's a guy I just don't want to deal any part with. And Kenny Galladay, we don't know when he's coming back. DeAndre Swift, him missing from this game as well. Didn't help Adrian Peterson and Kurion Johnson. Didn't add much to the offense. So I don't know what Stafford. And the fourth guy... Is Carson Wentz each and every week? I'm telling people to keep dropping Wentz. He's not doing much, and he's still owned in 69% of leagues. And yesterday versus the Cleveland Browns, he salvaged the game in garbage time. He finished with 235 passing yards, two touchdowns, two windows, and 10 rushing yards for 20 fantasy points. The 20 points ain't that bad, but the way he's playing, this guy, I don't know if he's going to last the season as the starter or not get injured. He takes too many chances. He takes too many hits. He's been sacked the most in the league this season is Carson Wentz. And the Eagles, they're struggling. Wentz, he's just throwing the ball up for grabs half the time, it seems like. I know the weather was brutal, cold, and rainy, but it's still no excuse. And now Wentz, he's got a versus a Seattle team that looks rejuvenated a little on defense after playing a decent ball game on Thursday night football versus the Arizona Cardinals. So Wentz, just like Stafford, I don't know which Wentz is going to show up. I can't trust him. And a guy in 10 to 12 leagues with one quarterback start, and there's no need to hold on to this guy. Quarterbacks, they're all off by if you have yours. So just car cut Carson Wentz. So that's a few quarterbacks I'm dropping heading into week 12.